This is a Crown Vic police car. This is the trunk pack in the back. We've had an intermittent failure where the power goes out intermittently and tracked it down to this. Okay, this is a continuous duty 80 amp solenoid. Um, we had on underneath the hood, they had another one which was a starter solenoid. Those are not made for continuous duty. You can't do those at continuous duty. So what I'm replacing these with is a what they call a latching solenoid, okay? And what this actually is, it's almost like a motor. It'll run out and then disconnect the main power to engage the solenoid and stay engaged until you release the power and then it comes back in. The difference is this one has to have full power all the time as far as amp load to continue to maintain contact. This one will use full power right up until it latches and then it disconnects the main um, the main power to the coil and it just has a holding coil. So this is called a latching solenoid. This is a much better deal. This is made for continuous operation. You can leave this on indefinitely. This is a regular continuous duty solenoid rated for 80 amps. This will run for quite a while, but it gets very hot because it's continually pulling several amps to engage. Now what they had up front is they had a starter solenoid and I replaced the starter solenoid with the other latching solenoid. So now it's got a latching solenoid for the main power feed. It's got the ignition feed back there, which is a latching solenoid. And I've removed what is a regular starter solenoid, which is momentary use only. It's not made to run all the time. So whenever you do something where you have a continuous power feed, you want to use what's called a latching solenoid. And they also did this with a scotch lock. Don't do that. Just don't. Just don't. Don't do that. Don't ever use these scotch locks.